Okay, so let's do this. This is a update on the RepRap Power Arm project, a Scara Robot Arm 3D printer. Uh, made some modifications over the past couple weeks, mostly decorative or just uh, working out kinks. So things like this belt, when it uh, swings out of angle, the machine doesn't try to tear it out, and yeah. Okay, so this is just to showcase uh, the current firmwares that are running, 8-bit uh, system. So right now this is uh, Wonksama's uh, firmware. I'll show Marlin right after, but yeah, let's go ahead and power this on. Yep, fan's a bit loud, but that'll do. I'm going to run this off of Repetier Host. And then we're just going to have it home and see what it does. Okay. And yeah. So maybe the X axis might be homing the wrong direction. Y axis is moving fine, but either way, um, that's not where the X end stop is. If any of you followed Wangsama's firmware videos, what it does is it essentially homes the y-axis first, and then the x-axis homes. It's right about there. And then it kind of pushes off to center itself with the bed. Um, and just to show what it does again. Oh. Yeah, that's not the center of the bed. And for some reason, the firmware dra takes a lot of amps um, through the entire system. I don't know why. There's a buzzing sound right now. And what you're hearing is actually the power supplies um, fan, I think, kicking on or something else is vibrating. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Um. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and upload Mar this Marlin version, and we'll see how that works. Uh, Alright, um, always disconnect from whatever control interface you're using, so that way the port is free to upload to. I'm liking how the machine is starting to look. Uh, Pre-quality is suffering here and there, um, mostly because I'm printing all of this off of a cheap Chinese printer. Um, fans are dying, so I'm gonna get some new ones and hopefully the prints will turn out a little better from there. But overall, pretty happy with the size of this machine um, that it's just holding together. Not too much wobble, which is good. It can be improved but when you're getting like custom metal parts that can jump your price up to like a couple hundred dollars and that's just not fun. Anyways, defeats the purpose of wrap wrap. You gotta 3D print everything. Okay, upload is done. I'm going to, uh, yeah, this is some, a, somebody was nice enough to send me their Marlin 8 version and I'm going to use Project Face for this one. That way I just don't have to adjust my settings, and Repetitor firmware is better suited for Repetitor host, I believe. Okay, so we're connected. I'm going to go ahead and home. Yes, nice and flow. Oh, that's a good point to make. Um, the Wonk Summit firmware, I cannot adjust um, the speed that it homes. And that is weird, because it says so in the setting, and you can change it down to like one one thousandth of its value and no difference. Voila! Yes, that is a beautiful homing. Look at that. 30 degrees and 150 degrees. Um, oh, right. For, so if this were the x-axis, I guess, if you were or y, yeah. Anyways, the angle between here and this um, upper arm is about 
uh, 30 degrees, and then going back to this arm, the angle from here is about 150 degrees. Marlin's uh, version doesn't exactly use that. Um, what they use is a scare offset and then a bend homing offset. So although they don't support, um, oopsie doozy, um, 360 degree um, printing, what they do support is, let's say you have a bed over here. Let's see, I got a PEI sheet here and then I need meaning to use, but um, yeah. So imagine if that were your print bed, this is your arm. This point is zero, zero, not the center of the tower. So basically you make all of your measurements from there. The Scara X and Y offset would be from where the position of this nozzle is to that zero, zero point, and your tower offset would be here, or I got those two mixed backwards. So yeah, vice versa. Um, this would be your Scara um, Y offset, Scara X offset. This would be your manual bed offset control from the nozzle tip to that point. Okay, it's a pretty weird system to use for it, uh, especially since Scaras operate mostly with angles. Um, if any of your parts are off in their measurements, and that angle and position is not exact, you're going to have a nightmare time trying to figure out how far off that point is from the bed center. I mean, it probably doesn't really matter, considering this arm is absolutely ginormous compared to that print size. But if you want to use print something really big, then you're probably going to want that down to the letter. Okay, so that is a rip up power arm update to a close. Um, oh, no, I should actually show this uh, really weird um, y-axis. Uh, well, so I, what I'm going to do over here is move the z-axis up 10 millimeters, and you would think, oh, hey, this lead screw is going to spin and move the entire arm up 10 millimeters. See what happens? I think it's trying to home, but... Yeah, that's not home. I didn't, I'm not entirely sure what it, where it is at. So I'll go ahead and flip some of the measurements. Maybe that is the zero, zero that it thinks it is, rather than its exact opposite over here. Yeah, I'll go and uh, change that. Um, I'm just gonna move it up about 10 millimeters. Actually, all the way up to the 100 millimeter bed limit. Right now, I have I'm trying to get this machine to work with a 350 by 400 millimeter print area. Oh yeah, it's struggling there. But I am not entirely sure where it's trying to go. I know the steps per millimeter it is probably okay. What I've got here is um, a ramp running off of some A49 A8 stepper drivers, so 16 micro stepping. You got a 16 piece uh, pulley back here. 198 teeth, 126 teeth. Um, anyways, what that essentially means is that if I did my math right, the shoulder has a steps per degree of 110 steps per degree, and the elbow here has about 70 uh, steps per degree. Um, all in all, that should be more than enough resolution to print anything. These are pretty strong motors. I don't think the microstepping should make it drop off too badly, but you can't be certain until it prints something. So, anyways, this is Rip Rap Power Arm signing out. So, thank you. Have a good day. And if any of you have any idea how this project could be improved, that would be a big help. Thank you.